According to the Federal Ministry of Environment in Nigeria, Nigeria generates some total of 32 million tons of waste per year, among the highest in Africa. Among the waste generated, 2.5 million tons are attributed to plastic waste, which ends up in landfills, sewers, beaches, and water body. This landfills results in a situation which could be referred to as eutrophication. Eutrophication encompasses a process which involves fertilizer runoff and leaching to water bodies, resulting in reduction in availability of oxygen in the water body, which arises to death of fish in water body as a result of the blocked sunlight of the surface of the water body covered by algal bloom. These dump sites containing waste products causes pollution such as air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. And this waste product contains chemical which are sieved into the soil through soil absorption and bioaccumulation. Some farmers prefer cultivation in this dump soil because they understand and assume that these dump soils are fertile and most crops cultivated include vegetable mostly. These crops cultivated accumulate these heavy chains of chemicals. And when these crops are manufactured and introduced into the community, when consumed by people can result in adverse health effects. Education is a light that showed us a nation's success. Educate a farmer and you have educated the world. With improve in educational system, some of this effect of adverse environmental mismanagement could be avoided and we'll be able to achieve a cleaner and a more sustainable environment.